Hey friends, I am at Knobles Amusement Park in Elysburg, Pennsylvania, and I am excited. This was one of the first theme parks I've ever been to, and it has so much Disney-like rides. Like they're like not Disney rides, but kind of. They have a haunted mansion, they have teacups, they have a coal mine, dark slow ride. I love dark rides, I love slow rides. But they also have roller coasters and this park is 100% free admission. You actually pay per ride. So, let's go do this. I guess first things first, the haunted mansion. This is fantastic. It's only $2.50 to ride. How awesome is that? Right this way. <laughs> Warning, this ride can be scary. Please prepare your children. It's not really that scary. Look at those doom buggies. Now I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything because it might be a little bit dark inside. I absolutely love that ride. It is so funny. It's amazing actually. And do you like the little doom buggy cars they have? That is probably my favorite. Look at these little ditties. <laughs> Another amazing fact about this amusement park is it's in the middle of the woods. You are just surrounded by pine trees everywhere and there's no civilization like there's not a gas station right outside or anything like that like you are deep in the woods and that is fun surrounded by mountains greenery streams of water and gingerbread men huh and look they even have a little miniature teacup very small 
but it is the Mad Hatter's teacup, so at least they keep the fashion with that. If you guys remember, I just did a video basically on a coal mine tour, and here at Knobles, they have the Black Diamond Mining Company, which is an indoor roller coaster, but themed kind of like coal mine. Well, it is themed coal mining, and they have animatronics. It's a dark ride. I absolutely love this ride. One of my favorites of all time. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean because they have skeletons in there. We're going to film in there and see what we can see, but I do know it's a very dark, dark, dark ride. I am so excited. This is gonna be great. came out good because it is an awesome ride. You kind of start off like it's a natural mine tour kind of, and then you actually drop down deep into the earth where all the miners have died and they're haunting it. So it's pretty awesome. Definitely one of my favorite rides of all time. Next, we're gonna ride this beautiful flume ride right here. And it looks like it has two drops because I see two different rising points. So that means two drops. But I am going to switch over to the GoPro because I don't want the camera to get wet. Even though Bonnie says you don't get wet on this ride. And from that drop right there, you don't look like you get that wet. So I'm going to believe her, but I'm going to play it safe. Yeah, a little bit bumpy.
an immediate trap. Oh. Ah! No! No, you did not! Oh, oh. What? <laughs> so. Oh. I'm gonna get soaked. Oh no. Oh! Soaked! You gotta be kidding me. Bonnie! Bonnie! Wow. Bon Bon lied. Lied. I got soaked. Literally, my shirt, my shorts, everything. It's okay though. I'll dry off. Don't mind. Maybe I'll go roast with some corn. Just roasting with the corn. Huh? What a cute little guy. Who's about to get roasted? Ah, there's my pappy. <laughs> Another really cool thing at Knoebels that I wanted to check out is the fact that they have a carousel museum with some of the oldest carousel ride vehicles to date and I'm excited to see some of them because that stuff kind of fascinates me. I like old-timey amusement rides and this park is perfect for them. I absolutely love the ambience here. It's called the Brass Ring. Knoebels very own carousel museum. So let's go in there, take a look, huh? Look at these bad boys. The Standing Lion. 1897. Wow. This place is something else. Look at this, 1879. Can you imagine riding that around? <laughs> the whole place just smells like wood. I like it a lot. Ooh, and you even have a camel. Very cool and interesting. You've seen the sign that says return rings here. A lot of carousels actually have a skill game to them. And you see this arm that's coming down right here? There's rings on the inside. And it's a game of skill that as you're riding around, you reach up and you pull a ring out. And then you return the ring wherever the sign points to. But if you get a brass ring, you immediately get a free ride. And I think that's awesome. Lucky enough for us, the carousel that's still up and running at Knoebels right now actually still participates in that skill game. So we are going to ride that carousel and I'm going to try to grab one of those rings and hopefully it's the brass ring because if I get the brass ring, I get a free ride. So let's go do that. Before we head over to the carousel, look at this beautiful stage set up here. They use this to have theatrical shows uh, that they put on in mid-afternoon. As you can tell, nobody's here. So uh, I guess the show is all mine. I'm excited. Another very fun fact about Knoebels, the fact that it's deep into the woods and there's actually a steady stream or creek that goes through it, they actually have been flooded a couple of times. And this bridge here will show you the water level of how high this creek got. So like you see 2004, the water was up to there. 2011, it was up to here. That's insane. For comparison, that means that half of the park was basically underwater. Like that's crazy. The water was literally up to my neck. Wow. Here it is. Oh, and here is the ring grabber. So this thing pops out and uh, 
That's where you gotta grab the ring. See it in there? How cool is that? Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, I got one, darn it. Oh, I got five rings. Brown's ring for me. I did get five of them though, but that is a little scary. And actually, there's only five other theme parks in the world that actually do the ring skill game, and this is one of them. Only because of liability wise. I mean, you really are reaching out of a moving ride operation to actually grab rings out of a holder. So I can see why there is a liability there. And now it's time to return the rings. Feed the lion! Yeah! Wanted to get a little bit of a closer look of the ring game in action. So look at this. Watch, it's gonna pop out of that little yellow box and it's up in the air. Whoever gets the bronze wing wins. Oh, there it is. Wow, isn't that awesome? Sorry, I probably said the bronze ring like a hundred times. It's a brass ring, but I'm a little upset I did not get the brass ring. Oh well, I guess I got to try it again, but that was pretty fun. I've never got to do that before and I never even realized it and I rode that before. How could I have not noticed that? Amazing. They do have a lot of different types of roller coasters at the park. Uh, they have the Phoenix which is highly ranked as one of the best wooden roller coasters. And then they also have Flying Turns, which is an actual trackless roller coaster. But they don't allow filming on any of those unless you have a body, a body har harvest. Body harvest. <laughs> a body harness for your GoPro. But as it comes to roller coasters, they're not my biggest priority. I'm heavily into like more themed rides and stuff like that. So the next ride I'm gonna do is the Pioneer Train. It is my absolute favorite train ride because it's a very tiny train, but it is one and a half mile, <laughs> one and a half miles long. So you're actually going a pretty far distance deep into the woods and it's beautiful. It's so real. Look at that. Such a little tiny train, isn't it? And this takes you deep into the woods, and I love it. Look at that. This little baby's gonna take us on a mile and a half ride. I'm excited. Here we go. Look out for the locomotive. Stop and listen. Gonna take in some of this beautiful Pennsylvania nature right here. A mile and a half this is. Bye! Wow. I get so excited about the littlest rides, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, we're coming up. You can go, we're actually going underneath the wooden roller coaster. How awesome is that? Look at this. This is Twister. Wow. I don't see any roller coasters uh, happening. Oh, well. I can hear it.
Look at this. We're leaving the area of Knobles and we're heading deep into the woods now. Wow. They have a little deer feeding area over here. Notice, or actually any type of animal feeding area. I see a lot of squirrels though. But you see how they have the corns piked up on the wood there? I see a couple squirrels. Wow, but we are out there. I mean, we are we are in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what these guys are up to here. Getting my corn on. Roasted corn. The tree down. Another tunnel! Thank you! Whoa! Oh, there's a sleeping train. Yep, yep. And is that an ostrich? Is that an ostrich butt? Why is there half of an ostrich? Oh wait, no, never mind. The ostrich's head's in the ground. I thought it was just the ostrich butt. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for me at Knobles today. What a fantastic park. I have to tell you, some of the nicest cast members or staff that they have here. Everybody smiles, very nice and greeting. And the rides are wholesome, I like that. Very cool, I definitely be back. And love the life you live. We'll see you next time, bye.